Hey everyone, I want to show you how to uh, enter an expression like this into your calculator. We're going to have to balance when we use the negative symbol or the negative button on our calculator versus the subtraction button on our calculator. And I'm going to I'm going to just enter these two symbols in right now so we can look at the difference between them, at least how they appear on your calculator. So I entered the negative symbol first and the subtraction symbol second. And you can see the negative symbol, it's a little bit smaller, right? And it's a little bit higher up. And the subtraction symbols are just a little bit longer and more towards the middle of an entry. And I want to I wanna enter this expression in negative 2 minus 3. And I, I specifically said negative 2 minus 3. Because if you're dealing with subtraction, subtraction has to be between two numbers. All right, and if you look at this symbol right here, yeah, it looks the same because this is on a, a Word document. This is on my calculator. But there's no number in front of the, the two. So I can't say subtraction here. I need to say negative. So when entering that into my calculator, I need to do negative 2 and then minus 3. So the negative 2, I have to enter a negative here because there was nothing in front of that 2. And a subtraction symbol has to be between two numbers. And 2 isn't between two numbers, right? Uh, or I should say this negative symbol, excuse me, isn't between two numbers. So when I do that, I'm okay. I get my negative 5 like I should. Now, if you tried this the other way, if you enter negative 2 minus 3, you see the calculator is actually creating a number to wedge that subtraction symbol between. Because it's like, well, I need, if you've got a subtraction symbol, you need two numbers on either side. And when it says A and S, it's picking up this last answer from my calculation screen. So I have negative 5 minus 2 minus 3. And now this is going to be negative 10. So be careful when entering the subtraction sign versus the negative sign. Sometimes it gets you into trouble. Sometimes an error message will pop up. But you want to just be aware that if you have the subtraction sign, it has to be wedged between either two numbers or two expressions. Like it could be x minus 2. Um, and if you have the negative symbol, that just means this symbol, or this I should point to the negative symbol, it's not wedged between two things. It's only got one, one number or one expression. So I could do something like negative x, right? Um, but I couldn't do subtract x because you see my calculator will force another symbol there or another number or letter just depending. All right, so that's my little spiel on the negative symbol versus the subtraction sign. All right, see you in a few. Bye.